13.5 meters per second sine 54 degrees times the time na 1.76 seconds minus 1 half times 9.81 meters per second square times yung time ulit 1.76 seconds quantity square. From the previous lecture video, we discussed the type of projectile motion with no angle, the zero launch angle. And in this tutorial, we now discuss the projectile motion with general launch angle. It is a case of projectile launch at an arbitrary angle with respect to the horizontal. And as always, we return to our basic equations for projectile motion. And this time, we just simply let the angle theta be non-zero. Meron na tayong ilalagay na value for the angle theta. In this figure, we can see a projectile launch with an initial speed, V sub O, ito siya, at an angle theta, ito. Hindi siya ni-launch horizontally, hindi rin siya ni-launch vertically. The initial velocity here has an angle, and since the projectile starts at the origin, the initial x and y positions are 0. Say, we have x sub O as 0, and the y sub O as well, 0 din siya. The components of the initial velocity are determined, na makikita natin in this figure. So, for V sub O, x, the initial velocity at the horizontal component, we can solve it with V sub O cosine theta. And for the V sub O y naman, the initial velocity, vertical component, this is V sub O sine theta. Take note that if yung angle theta natin, parang sa zero launch angle is zero, V sub O x natin is directly equal to V sub O kasi cosine zero is one. And sine zero naman is zero. So yung V O y natin is zero. Similarly naman, if the angle theta is 90 or the object is launched vertically, directly upward, we find that yung V sub O x naman na magiging 0, while yung V sub O y natin is equal to V sub O. For the general equations of the projectile motion with general launch angle, and substituting the results into the basic equations for projectile motion na magi yield sa following result for a general angle. So for x component, we have these three equations. For y component naman, we have this another three equations. So, itong mga equations ito, which are valid for any launch angle, are reduced to simpler equations. When we set yung angle natin as 0 and yung y sub o natin as the height. A projectile is launched from the origin with an initial speed of 20 meters per second at an angle of 35 degrees above the horizontal. Find the x and y positions of the projectile at times 0 0.5 seconds. 1 second and 1.5 seconds. We are asked to find the x and y positions, the horizontal and the vertical positions no magiging projectile natin after 5, 0 0.5 second, 1 second, and 1.5 seconds. For the x position, so we use the equation x equals v sub o x times time and dahil nasa general launch angle na tayo, meron ng angle yung initial speed natin which is 35 degrees so this will be v sub o cosine theta times t so this is our figure and ito yung initial position and and this is the angle 35 degrees ito yung 20 meters per second na initial speed or initial velocity so after 0 0.5 seconds, nasa na raw yung object after 1 second and after 1.5 seconds. For the vertical position naman, similarly, from the equations natin, we have y equals v sub o y times t minus, dahil nasa projectile tayo again, yung concept na yung gravity is negative considering yung upward direction is positive. For the launch, this is 1 half g times t square. And yung v sub o y natin, 
we have v sub o sine theta times the time minus one half the gravity times t square and let's start with the time na 0 0.5 second at time equals 0 0.5 seconds we substitute we just substitute the time meron na tayong value ng initial velocity which is 20 meters per second meron na tayong angle which is 35 degrees we have the value of the gravity 9.81 meters per second square sa substitute na lang natin yung given time for the x position we have v sub o 20 meters per second cosine angle na 35 degrees times the time na 0 0.5 second and by calculating ang value ng x natin is equal to 8.19 meters for the y position naman y is equal to v sub o natin is 20 meters per second sine 35 degrees times the time na 0 0.5 seconds minus yung gravity natin kasi again meron tayong gravity sa vertical kasi nag a yung acceleration due to gravity whereas sa horizontal naman same concept na nabanggit na natin from the previous lecture video wala tayong acceleration sa horizontal ng projectile motion kasi we have a constant speed one half gravity natin is 9.81 meters per second square times the time na 0 0.5 seconds quantity square and by calculating the y position is equal to 4.51 meters say so this is our object after 0 0.5 seconds ang layo na niya from the original this is the x sub o the original position say ito na siya ito yung 8.5 19 meters and again ito naman yung ating initial position at the vertical ito na yung kanyang layo after 0 0.5 seconds now for the time na 1 second naman same process ang gagawin natin papalitan lang natin itong time natin ito and ito and by calculating hindi ko na ipapakita for 1 second, after 1 second, ang x position na is 16.4 meters and the y position is equal to 6.57 meters. Ito yung kanilang posi ito yung position ng object after 1 second. And for the time na 1.5 seconds naman, ang x position, same process ang gagawin, papalitan lang natin ito, ito and ito ng new panibagong time which is 1.5 seconds ang x na natin is equal to 24.6 meters while yung y position is equal to 6.17 meters if you can notice that yung x position natin ay tumataas steadily with time in contrast naman yung y position natin first nag increase siya and then bumaba ulit so this is example number 1 Example number 2. From the example number 1, determine the velocity of the projectile at a time 0 0.5 second, 1 second, and 1.5 seconds. Based from the previous example, ang inahanap naman sa atin dito is yung velocity of the projectile. The x component of the velocity is constant. With the value, we have v sub x equals v sub o cosine theta. And yung y component naman of the velocity changes with time according to the relationship na v y equals v sub o sine theta minus gravity times the time. Again, ang velocity that we are solving is yung resultant velocity. So solve muna natin yung v sub x, yung horizontal component, and yung v sub y which is the vertical component. And then we use the Pythagorean theorem to solve for the resultant velocity for v sub x this is ang um, initial velocity natin kanina is 20 meters per second cosine 35 degrees v sub x is equal to 
16.4 meters per second. For visa boy naman, 20 meters per second sine theta, ang theta natin is 35 degrees minus the gravity 9.81 meters per second square times the time na 0.5 seconds. Start muna tayo dito sa time na to. And V sub Y is equal to 6.57 meters per second. Now, solving for the resultant velocity. Velocity is equal to the square root of V sub X square plus V sub Y square. Substituting the values, we have 16 0.4 meters per second quantity square plus 6.57 meters per second quantity square. Velocity is equal to 17.67 meters per second. And ito yung velocity ng projectile natin after the time of 0.5 second. For the time na 1 second and 1.5 seconds naman, hindi magbabago yung velocity natin sa horizontal component, yung V sub X natin is still 16.4 meters per second pa din kasi hindi nga makaka sa kanyang time. Constant velocity kasi all throughout the projectile motion. So for the time 1 second and 1.5 seconds, ito pa rin yung V sub X na gagamitin natin to solve for the resultant velocity. Ang magbabago lang is yung V sub Y. At 1 second na time, sa yung V sub X, ang V sub Y natin dito is equal to 1.66 meters per second and ang resultant velocity natin or ang total velocity is equal to 16.48 meters per second for the time naman na 1.5 second same vx pa din ang v sub y natin now is equal to negative 3.24 meters per second and by calculating using Pythagorean theorem, the total velocity natin or the velocity is equal to 16.72 meters per second. So again, if you can notice that yung projectile motion is moving upward in time na 0.5 seconds and pataas pa rin sa time na 1 second and then bumaba na siya, nagkaroon na tayo ng negative na V sub Y or negative na vertical component ng velocity natin after 1.5 seconds. So, this is example number 2. A man sends a golf ball over a 3 meter high tree that is 14 meters away. The ball lands at the same level from which it was struck after traveling a horizontal distance of 17.8 meters. The ball leaves the club at 54 degrees above the horizontal and lands 2.24 seconds later. Letter A. What was the initial speed of the ball? And letter B, how high was the ball when it passed directly over the tree? In the figure, it shows that the ball is taking flight from the origin. Say so this is our origin. Meaning, the initial positions natin, x sub o and y sub o is equal to 0 with a launch of angle of 54 degrees. Ito siya. And that arc yung motion creating a projectile. Kung makikita natin dito sa figure, meron tayong madaming points. Ayan, yung golf ball points. And yung points na yan, individually, along the parabolic trajectory, correspond to equal time intervals. For letter A, yung projectile natin ay gumagalaw with constant speed in the x direction. And hence, yung x component ng velocity is simply the Horizontal distance divided by the time. Kasi, again, walang acceleration na nag act sa projectile natin in horizontal component. Knowing that yung V sub x and theta, pwede natin isolve knowing the velocity at x and the angle theta, pwede natin mahanap yung initial velocity from the equation V sub x equals V sub o cosine theta. Pwede natin masolve yan using the V sub x and the theta. For letter B naman, pwede natin gamitin yung equation na x equals v sub o cosine theta times the time para mahanap natin yung time when the ball is at 14 meters. Ito yun. And pag nasolve na natin yung time na yan, gamit itong 
equation na to, pwede natin i-substitute yung time na na-solve natin into this equation, y equals v sub o sin theta times the time minus 1 half g times t square. Para ma-solve natin yung taas na naabot ng ball when it passed directly over the tree. And from the problem, ang given val ang known values natin is yung horizontal distance which is 17.8 meters yung layo na naabot ng bola and we have the launch angle 54 degrees the time of flight, yung total time of flight we have 2.24 seconds ang inahanap sa atin for letter A again is the initial speed V sub O, yung resultant velocity yun and for letter B naman is yung height of the ball let's start with letter A Para ma-solve natin yung V sub X, we just simply use the basic formula for the velocity, yung distance over time. And meron tayong total distance na 17.8 meters over yung total time na na-consume nung projectile motion natin is 2.24 seconds. Therefore, we can solve for the velocity at X which is 7.95 meters per Second, with this velocity at x component natin, using this equation, pwede na natin isolve ngayon yung initial speed. Kahit hindi na natin hanapin yung v sub y and use the Pythagorean theorem. So, substituting vx dito sa equation na to, we have v sub x equals v sub o cosine theta. We solve for the initial velocity or initial speed. We divide both sides by cosine theta. To cancel, and ang matitira is V sub O, V sub O equals V sub X over cosine theta. Substituting the values, V sub X is equal to 7.95 meters per second. Cosine, ang launch angle natin is 54 degrees. V sub O natin is equal to 13.5 meters per second. This is the initial speed or the initial velocity. For letter B, Gagamitin natin again itong equation na to to solve for time and then pag na-solve na natin yung time, substitute na natin dito to solve for the height. Solving for time, x is equal to v sub o cosine theta times the time. We divide both sides by v sub o cosine theta para makancel. And matitirang sa atin is yung time. So time now is equal to substituting the values. Take note, sa letter B ang tinatanong is yung height ng ball na nandun siya directly over the tree. So at this point. And ang layo ng tree natin from the original position is 14 meters. So ang ilalagay natin dito sa X na to is 14 meters. Kasi again, Ang height na inahanap natin is yung height ng ball kapag nandun na siya sa tapat ng puno. Yung puno is 14 meters far from the original position. So this is 14 meters over initial velocity, 13.5 meters per second, cosine 54 degrees. Or simply, eto lang din yun, V sub X, 7.95 meters per second. Ang value ng time natin is equal to 1.76 seconds. So, hindi pa tayo tapos. Yung 1.76 seconds yan, is substitute natin dito to find the height na nandun na siya sa tapat ng tree. So, y is equal to V sub O is 13.5 meters per second sine 54 degrees times the time na 1.76 seconds minus 1 half times 9.81 meters per second square, times, yung time ulit, 1.76 seconds quantity square. And by calculating, ang value ng y natin is equal to 4.03 meters. Meaning, eto yung taas na yan. Eto yung 4.03 meters. So, this is example number 3.